Unit. Taj is cleaning up our radar, it's about to go up the mast and he's doing a really good job too. Leave him up there tonight? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God, I got rid of one. Have a good night, buddy. He doesn't seem too faced. <laughs> Bloody monkey. <laughs> okay guys, so what we're doing today is wiring up or replacing the wire for a lot of our uh, lights from the top of the mast as we rewire or put our wire in for the radar. So we, Lee and Taj put the radar up the other day, or yesterday, and now we're running the wires down the mast and through the boat. So while Lee's up there, he thought he might as well replace a lot of the wires, one for our aerial, one for the white light up there, and then two navigational lights up the top of the mast. So. Lee's up the mast again right now and he's been up and down, up and down the mast all day yesterday. It's really hard because if he forgets something has to come back down and if I can't pull the other end out because it's too hard, he has to come back down and then go back up so it's been fun. I've got blisters on my fingers. It's all right, nearly another job out of the way. Closer and closer every day. So, so Lee's just been lazy and being in our bed. <laughs> no, uh, what are you doing? I'm a little bit concerned with our steering. It's uh, completely broken and an accident waiting to happen. I can't see you, but I'll show you. As you can see, that it is all just rusted away 
it did get leaked on when we first got the boat, but the leak has been fixed, but the damage has been done. So, it is very old and ancient looking, but we're going to see what we can do. I'm going to rebuild this. I'm going to buy some new pulleys and just, it is what it is, but we'll tidy it up just so it's uh, no, not so dangerous. What do we have here? It looks old and shitty. This was Ultra our steering. Lock. Had a little bit of water ingress when we first got the boat and it had obviously been leaking for quite some time. Um, and that was obviously the outcome of it over however many years of leaking water. So it was on the top of the list. So now we're gonna rebuild it. I've had the stainless welder while he was here doing our rails and davits. Weld me up the bracket, so I'm replacing it in 10mm 316 stainless and I'll replace it with some heavy duty stainless pulleys so hopefully, all in all, once it's back together it should have a strong steering unit. Probably a really important part of the boat is the steering. Just a little bit. Okay, so we're halfway there. Just got to modify our other pulley block here. Take the ends off, I to grind these down here, I can remove those. I've got some longer bolts, as you can see over here. I've set this one up, so that will be our new unit. Most posts usually have an idler pulley underneath, but ours is a little bit DIY, so it's um, the best I could do there. We're just about there. Some more little tweaks and whatnot. One six stainless I had left over from a little bit we did on the boat. So yeah, so close, so close. A little portable workshop has been very handy. Make do with what you got. That drill. <laughs> Can't concentrate. Some yoga, babe. That was about as much as yoga yeah, as Lee does. <laughs> We had a big day. Big day. Working hard. We had a big day every day for the last how long? A month? Getting there. Last of the jobs now. Pretty, that wasn't very safe. Oh. That wasn't very safe at all. Don't do this at home. I've actually just mounted it with oh, four coach bolts right up into the members, but pretty much just to temporarily hold it until I actually get my bolts through, but it is that solid, oh, I can't even move it a mil. I'm still going to bolt it, but I do need a right angle chuck, so I'm not able to get my drill in and screw through the uh, beam up there, so I'll drill through the beam, so... I want to put some 10mm bolts through there, just probably doesn't need it, but I don't know. I like to do everything with a little bit of overkill. It looks like a uh, pretty solid bit of gear. It does. We're not going to lose our steering with that, hopefully. You're so clever. Sexy. Ha, 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 ha.
sexy bit of gear in our bedroom. There you go, you finished? Yep, all in. Look at that. Now that is solid. That's rock solid. It's uh, probably not what they're meant to look like, but back in the 80s when it was a DIY, it was sort of very similar to that in steel. And now it's all in 316 stainless and redone, so hopefully we can get another 30 years out of it. <laughs> That's good, babe. Well done. Another Ooh. job off the list. What uh, else we got to do? That's a major, that one. Back to the rigging, I think. We'll have to look at that and see if it's in our budget to maybe just get some gal rigging. We should be right. We're on our way. Yay. We've just pulled out the chain to measure, so as I suspected, we've got 50 metres of chain, which um, it's not quite sufficient, I don't think. I don't like the idea of this road. I sort of hanging by a piece of string. It's always one of my concerns. Road, so, and I don't also like the idea of adding two chain, but I'm going to trial it. So we'll see, I'm going to add a link and I'm going to add, I think, 50 metres of chain. So all up, I've got 100, so I think I'll sleep better. Uh, yeah, you will. That's another little job. Getting the finals. I think the ground tackle is pretty important. So. We're getting there. But you want your anchor right? We've got a nice Manson Supreme 60 pound anchor, which hasn't let us down yet. Even with the limited amount of chain. Oh, it's Chewy. Say hi. Hi, Chewy. Hi. And there's Dexa over there. Oh, somebody wants a pick up. Somebody wants to be picked up. Yeah, I know. Come on. Say hello. Hello everybody. Hello. You're a bit cute. You're a bit cute. We'll miss you. Oh here comes our ducky friend. Hello ducky friend. Don't you jump to that duck. So this is today's project. We're putting in a holding tank. Is opening up our anchor locker and making it bigger because where the anchor feeds in, it is actually goes right to the smaller side of the, to the locker. So it gets all bundled up all the time. So we're going to at least feeding it, moving the tube so that it goes down into the deeper part of the locker. If that makes sense. They extended their bed out, so this would be that black bit. Wasn't there? Now we've made their bed bigger. Anyway, can't hear anything in there, so. Oh, you know what? I'll show you. I'll show you something really cool. My dad came and stayed with us for. A little bit last uh, for a couple of weeks last week anyway while he was here I was opening the drawers and we have an old boat and they've got timber drawers so old timber drawers right and they were really hard to open so what he suggested was to grab a piece of soap normal soap and then rub it on the bottom of your drawer and inside where the drawer feeds and oh my god it works so good. So this drawer that I'd open like every day was so tight and painful and even these ones down here, they slide so easy now. It's like, woo! So anyway, I was really stoked. I did all the drawers because they were all really tight and these open really lovely now. Little tip. So thanks dad, you are pretty clever and I learnt something new. So I hope that helps somebody else. Even all these little, like these drawers here, not drawers, the doors for our cupboards. I put soap in there and they slide really nicely. Our boat is in a big mess. So this is the kids' room <laughs> all pulled apart. But this is what's happening today on Catalpa. Lots of jobs. And I think we're about two weeks from leaving the marina and setting off on our big adventure. Okay, bye.
Tell me, brother, here 